Hey guys, how's it going? I gotta go over this right now because I'm really hot about this. And, um, you know, I just now realize that whenever something pops up into my mind, whenever I get really heated about something and I start going through this preach into my mind, I can make a video now anytime that I want to easily. So <laughs> I need to keep that in mind. But anyways, um... So I'm uploading a video on my phone right now because I was watching this James White debate and I pointed this out. And I'm going to go over this again, basically to say some of the things that I said, maybe point out a little bit more. But this just makes me really sick. And this right here, you should see that Calvinism is false. And uh, I'm probably going to go over that debate and actually show James White talking and, um, you know, kind of refute it as he's speaking. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday when I'm off, whatever, anyways. But we're talking about John... 6 37 which says all that the father giveth me shall come to me and him that cometh to me i will in no wise cast out now this is the verse that calvinists will use to try and teach unconditional salvation or unconditional election i'm sorry and so i was watching the debate and i saw james white starting to use this and he says you know which comes first is it the giving or the coming Okay, so he's trying to back his opponent into a corner to believe his unconditional election. And he's trying to impose his own interpretation on this verse from his own doctrines, his own Calvinist understanding. And so, you know, he says, well, the giveth, you know, the give comes before the coming. And so, you know, that's how they try to teach unconditional election. That God chose who would be saved. And who God chose are the ones who come to faith in Christ because they were chosen, right? So there's no free will involved. That's absolutely false. That's not what this verse is teaching at all. What this verse is teaching is that Jesus is basically saying that uh, those who the Father gives me comes to me, okay? And what he said before that verse was that, I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. Okay, so he's talking about these unbelieving Jews. Okay, then he goes on to say that who the Father gives me shall come to me. And so basically, they're not coming to him. They don't believe in him. That means that they're not coming to him. And so that means that they weren't given to him by the Father. Okay, and so it goes that all that hath the Father hath the Son. Okay, and so because they don't have the Son, they don't have the Father. So he's basically saying that you don't believe in the Father. You don't believe in God. Okay, you truly don't believe God. If you don't believe that I'm the Son of God, then you're not of God. Okay, um, so it's really easy. And he just kind of goes on and on kind of expounding this. You know, he's having this conversation with them. It continues, For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. Okay, he's constantly like validating himself that the Father sent him. Those who believe in him are given to him by the Father. That means that those who believe in the Father are given to the Son. Okay, to believe in the Son. Okay, so that leaves, free, that leaves man's free will intact. That's not unconditional election. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me that all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but raise it up again at the last day. Okay. And so, you know, Jesus is here saying that he has the power to raise people up. Okay. This is, you know, that, that talks about his deity. And this is the will of him that sent me. Um, okay. I just read that one. Verse 41. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up again at, at the last day. So he's saying basically what he just said again. He's saying, hey, whoever believes in the Father is believing in me. You don't believe in me, so you don't believe in the Father. That's what he's saying. He's condemning the Jews. Do you get that? Nothing to do with unconditional election. That's an absolutely false interpretation. Can you see that? Can you see right through that false Calvinist teaching? No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Every man that hath heard and learned of the Father cometh to me. Okay, of their own free will. Those who came to the Father come to me. 
not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, say unto you he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat man in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the world, for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drank his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, shall he, even he shall live by me. That is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. And so basically, um, <clears throat> you know, he keeps saying, you know, he's saying he's the son of God. He's proclaiming his deity. He's saying that he is the only way to eternal life. Okay, he is the Christ and he is the son of God and the father sent him. And if you don't believe in him, you don't believe in the Father. That's what he's condemning the Jews of, okay? They're saying, you're not the Son of God. You're not the Christ. He's saying, okay, if you don't believe that, then you're not of the Father. You weren't given to me by the Father because you don't have the Father, okay? <laughs> because they didn't come to the Father of their own free will. They don't believe in Jesus of their own free will. It has nothing to do with unconditional election. That is inserted into the text, by Calvinists, okay? This should destroy Calvinism. Just refuting this one verse, just bam, it's done, you see? You see how they twist that verse? It's over for Calvinism. It's absolutely unbelievable. And you know, James White, and he does these debates, and he's got his little bow tie and his little bald head, and you know, and you know, he's he's gotta be right about everything, and <laughs> it's absolutely, unbelievable and he deceives people into believing these things you know I can't believe it you have to be indoctrinated into Calvinism you know it's like witchcraft you know I told my brother who said he's a Calvinist now I said you know who bewitched you or James White has bewitched you because that's true you know that's the language that Paul used in the book of Galatians but you know And so I want to, and, and this is all over the Bible, that whoever has the Father has the Son. And that's the whole point. It's not giving unconditionally, okay? Well, the Father gives, um, whoever the Father chooses will come to Christ, right? That's what the Calvinists teach. That's what I'm saying. And so then it follows, well, then what about the people that go to hell? Well, God chooses them to go to hell too. Okay. Well, then why doesn't he choose for all people to be saved? Well, it's just not how God wanted to do things or whatever. Calvinism is trash. Scrap it. Okay. Let's look at a couple other verses here just to see that it's all over. And here's, in, it's all over in John. In John, you see it all over the place. Um, there are other verses around here that they, they try to use it, basically teach the same thing, where Jesus is just saying, you know, if you don't believe in me, you don't believe in the Father. Let's go back to John 5. John 5, verse 23, says that all men should honor the Father even as they, or, I'm sorry, all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father which sent him. Okay, you don't honor the father, you don't honor the son, then you don't honor honor the father. You don't believe in the son, then you don't believe in the father. You don't believe in the son, then the father, then you weren't given by the father because you don't believe in the father of your own free will. You get it? It's really simple, quite honestly. If you just, you know, the only way you could even believe the Calvinist interpretation is to sit there and listen to one of them and be indoctrinated in it. Because I can't even really see people come to that conclusion on their own. I don't even know, you know, this doctrine was spawned by demons and the devil. I don't even know how it came to be. So, I mean, 
And let's look at 1 John chapter 2, verse 23. Because it really does make me sick. Because, I mean, this is so plainly obvious that, that, John, that James White is false and any Calvinist that teaches this. So obvious that his interpretation of that verse is false. We know that man has the, the will to choose to receive Christ. We see it all over the gospel, the call to repentance. It's foolishness if you believe Calvinism. Why? Why would you give the gospel? Complete nonsense. Think about it, folks. I'm just so frustrated. I really am. It makes me sick. So, I'm looking for First John here. So, I'm not going to use this Bible a whole lot. Uh, well, okay, there we go. So, First John chapter 2, verse 23. One to reach over. 1 John chapter 2, verse 23 says, Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. Very plain. Boom. Bam. That's basically what Jesus is saying in John chapter 6, verse 37. That's just straight to the point right there. Okay. You know, Jesus had some very colorful ways of saying things. And the Apostle John here, he just says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 23, Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. So they can't be given to the Son by the Father if they hath not the, the Father. You get it? So I think that I'm done with this. Uh, just think about it. Just look over those verses. Um, unconditional election is inserted into the text. It's an absurd idea. Calvinism is completely absurd as a whole. Scrap it. Throw it away. Reject it. You must repent and you must believe the gospel to be saved. A man has a free will to receive it or to deny it. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you like these videos and, and expect a lot more. And hopefully I'll get a little more colorful. But I still got to go to work. I'm actually kind of tired. But God bless.